this is a typical quotient rule example in calculus. So here's a short lesson, guys. Okay. So uh, let's consider the numerator, the u, and the denominator, the v. And the rule for that is vu prime minus uv prime divided by v squared. Uh, if you call this the high and the low, and some people memorize it this way, low d high minus high d low divided by low squared. I, I always got confused uh, which came first. Is it low d high or high d low, right? So I'm more of a visual person, and the way I sort of remember this, I always know that the second one is always the derivative right here, right? So I think of this shape of V and a V and a V, and all the V shapes kind of is the same. That works for me. Anyways, uh, just use the one that one you like. And here it is. So let's apply the rule. And the first thing I like to do is to square the denominator, which yields x squared minus 1. And then working at the numerator, I copy the denominator first, v, times the derivative of the numerator, which is 1. The derivative of the x is 1, as you know, minus the, the numerator, x, times the derivative of the denominator. Let's work on that separately, shall we? So what is the ddx of a square root of something, right? Now, let's look at this. Because this is u to the half, you bring down the half to the front and you subtract one here, which yields negative one. And then because of the chain rule, you gotta multiply this by du dx. And I like to just memorize this as a one over two square root of the u times du dx. Because this happens quite often, I just do it this way, right? So let's know the shortcut of that, right? And when you do that, we end up with one over twice the square root of the x squared minus one, and the derivative of the inside, x squared minus one, is two x. And as you could tell, the twos cancel, all right? Uh, you don't need to simplify this, I will. And we end up with x squared minus one minus x squared over x squared minus one, what I meant was, you didn't have to rewrite this like I did. Uh, me personally, normally I don't, but for the sake of clarity, I'm doing this. Uh, what we have here is a complex fraction. So if you remember that from the past example in algebra, we like to multiply this by the whatever is the denominator, like a sm small denominator, right? Is Which is this. So I multiply both top and the bottom. Oops, oopsie. Uh, X squared minus one over x squared minus one. And what ends up happening is that these two cancel, doesn't it? Right. Anyways, let's do that. Oops, let me make that a little smaller. Get out of the way, there you go. And when we multiply these two, um, it simplifies to x squared minus one. And for the second one, it cancels, which we end up with x squared over and then that is x squared minus one to three halves, right? And then the x squares cancel. Therefore, this is negative one over x squared minus one to the power of three halves. Now, if, if you want, you could go ahead and simplify further, but I don't think this is better. So my general rule of thumb is that it, unless it makes it look better, I don't do any more than I have to, okay? Because there's always a chance that you will make a mistake, right? So this, to me, looks great. And that is the end of quotient rule example in calculus and employing the complex fraction simplification.